Yo, what's up? It's your boy Ryan Rab Beats. How's everybody doing? Some of you guys are asking me, what is your shutdown procedure for the Omni DTF? Let me show you guys. All right, so uh, shutdown procedure. I just printed my last, um, well, my last prints that I had to print today. What I do is I usually cut it off and let it feed through, as you can see here, and then um, turn this thing off, like so, and let it cool down, whatever. So when that's done, what I like to do is do another print head cleaning, just to get all the access uh, ink out of the print head and just to clean it off, right? That's one thing. When that's done, I'm gonna show you guys the next step. All right, it's done. So, <clears throat> I'd like to do, let me fix the camera here, is move the carriage all the way uh, to the far left. There it goes. Now here's the fun part. Here's the fun part. We open up this door like that. We'd open up that door. Now as you can see, I have a mirror there. This is the most stupidest thing, stupid design, I don't know, but it is what it is, that's what we have to do. So I got my cleaning solution here, which is their uh, super cleaner that Omni Inc. has. I'm going to show you guys what we have to clean. I don't know if you guys can see it, you guys can see it. See that? That's the print head, and those little bars on each side of it, on that end, and that's what we need to clean. Not the print head, those little ridges there. And that's the white head, and that's the um, the uh, the color. Yeah, the color is really dirty. So let's go ahead and clean that. So what I like to do is get our solution and get it on a rag. I mean, you can use like those uh, Q-tip swab things, but I like using the rag instead. So all I like to do is I like to get under it from here in, until I hit the ridges and wipe it down. I go to the other side and I wipe it down. Try not to touch the head. You don't want to touch the print head. See how dirty it is. There. That should be pretty clean. What's the color? Color head. You can even see it. But yeah, it looks pretty clean. So, then we close this thing back up. Then we bring our solution and our cleaning rag. You guys are wondering why I have all these rags. That's the reason why. Now, we go to this thing. I gotta clean this thing out, but we have to wipe down the, um, the, the wiper blade here. The reason why we do this and why reason why we clean the print head underneath those ridges is you don't want dried ink. If the ink dries up, it'll definitely get to your prints and it starts uh, uh, messing up your prints. Oops, sorry, I forgot one more thing to do here. This is the um, the wet capping station. You want to clean off that part, see? Swipe it down. Again, you don't want to get any kind of dried ink residue. See? That's it. And then we cap it off, capping station with the same fluid, just to the very, very rim or top of it. If it spills a little, it's fine. Okay. Now, move this thing all the way to the middle. Make sure we clip all these things together, like so. Double check because they, they will pop off. Just want to make sure they're on there. I have to flick it a little bit. Now let's move it all the way to its home position. Now, now we go to the software, right? We go to, wait, I'm gonna show you guys this print, Omni DTF software thing. We go back to our settings. Oh, it's right here. Wet cap. Make sure we wet cap it when you hit that button. Little window comes up, says, Ensure capping stations are filled, and then press OK. When it's saying filled, meaning that we, we put solution in there, 
because we don't want that print head to dry out so that's the reason for that it keeps it wet moist so it will not dry out and just hit okay once we hit okay you'll hear the machine you see the uh the capping station moving up and that's it and to ensure that it's correctly wet cap they'll say wet capping here because that's your status and we go to this thing it says keeping wet right you guys can see that i think you can see that and hit turn that button off all right so from this point on i like to move all the nozzles upward so all the um the glycol and all that stuff will drip all the way down this was not too bad this was after i just might as well move this up so it'll drip down it won't drip back down this way into the machine it'll drip into the filtration system and what i like to do is get this thing opened up again it's still warm so brace yourself wash yourself okay wipe it down Try to keep the machines as clean as possible as I can. Yeah, so that's my cleaning procedure for the Omni DTF. Um, that's what's recommended to do anyway, so I do it that way. The only thing I do differently is underneath the print head itself, they say to use the um, use your you know your cotton swab things to clean it. I find this really difficult to clean, especially just trying to get under it, trying to bend it and all that stuff. I, I tried this for a few months. It's it's really hard to do. Um, I usually have to like bend this thing like this and all that stuff trying to clean it. I just use a rag. It's easier and I think it's more efficient to do it that way. Um, yeah, and I have more control of it. This one you can't really like control it. But that's my cleaning procedure for the Omni DTF. That's my shutdown cleaning procedure. But since this is the weekend, I'll wet cap it overnight over the weekend and it should be fine um, but Monday comes around I gotta clean this thing which is the waste tank see how it's it's pretty full just clean that off before um, any projects are I'll probably just clean it out right now yeah just make sure everything's cleaned off you know um, you the best thing the best thing is wet capping make sure you wet cap if you don't wet cap especially overnight or if it's a weekend you're gonna have troubles make sure you wet cap all right, that's a quick little video for you guys. Some of you guys were asking, how do I put this thing to bed? And that's how I do it. All right, at end of every shift. All right, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Peace out.